All right, today we're gonna check out the top five things about the Chiluli collection. So one of the cool things of the museum was a nice glass ceiling with all the objects. They had kind of a couple garden setups where you had multiple glass sculptures, as well as there was kind of these individual vase shapes that were really nice to see. That's really excellent work. So one of the things I found really cool at the museum was they have a video of the artist and explains kind of his life as well as his background and how he developed as an artist. A lot of museums usually have kind of these really funky Art Nouveau kind of videos that don't make any sense and aren't really art at all, just kind of bad. So this is a really great video explanation of the artist's life. So another really nice thing is they have a bookstore with uh, books obviously on Chululi as well as some artworks from other glass sculptures that aren't as far along as Chululi in his career. And you have little knickknacks, a little bit of jewelry, and you also have books on his drawing skills as well. So one of the cool things about the museum is it has its own parking garage above the museum because it is a city, so there's a lack of parking close by. So one of the really cool things about the museum is it's kind of divided into separate rooms. All museums are divided in separate rooms, but usually it's very continuous and um, you don't have a pause for thinking about different work. But this, you kind of walk through blind hallways and all of a sudden you arrive at a room with a great glass sculpture. So it's really cool. And then you end up with um, other different collections as you go through each room by room. So it's a surprise every room you get into. And so that concludes my top five things about the Chululi Museum.